In the SL65 AMG Black Series, we want to exchange the hydraulic unit of the rear spoiler. You can order the hydraulic pump with the number on your screen. The pump must first be modified. Loosen the two screws with a suitable Allen key and remove the synchronization. Then undo the plug connectors. Now you can attach the new distributor block. Coat the two screws with thread lock. Then tighten with a torque of 4 Newton meters. Fasten the fixtures with two screws to the synchronization. Coat these screws too with thread lock. The other fixture is also fastened with two screws. Tighten with a torque of 4 Newton meters. Now push the rubber mount onto the bleed reservoir. Make sure that the flat side is downwards. Another rubber mount comes as standard with the hydraulic pump. Now you can attach the pump with the rubber mounts at the fixture. Secure both rubber mounts with two cable ties. Proceed with the hydraulic line number seven. You gain more information in the VIST document with the number on your screen. Remove the plug at the distributor block. Now screw the hydraulic line with a new sealing ring onto the distributor block. For this use a torque of 16 Newton meters. Now the pump and the hydraulic line must be bled. The bleed reservoir for this should be full. Place the pump with the distributor block upright. Beforehand, make yourselves a cable with a switch. Attach the plus and negative connections to the pump. Use a container and power up the hydraulic pump. The oil in the hydraulic line is full of bubbles. Refill with hydraulic oil and repeat the procedure several times. When the fluid comes out of the pump without bubbles, then it's bled. Now screw the hydraulic line with the new sealing ring onto the synchronization. Then screw on the remaining hydraulic lines and remove the plugs. The long line leads to the left hydraulic cylinder and the short line to the right. Screw the T-line onto the distributor block. Tighten all hydraulic lines with a torque of 60 Newton meters. And bring the pump back into a horizontal position. In order to later fix the hydraulic lines, fasten three cable ties with attachment clips to the fixture. The installed hydraulic lines must first be bled. Bring the ends together and place them in a container with fluid. Now power the pump once, then open the synchronization valves with an Allen key. Power the pump with the valve open until fluid comes out without bubbles. Put the two hydraulic lines to be bled into the hydraulic cylinder. Using this example, we'll show you how it goes. Use the retaining plate and bolt on the line with two screws. Do the same on the other line. Now place a nut on the thread of the piston rod. 
This works as your hand grip. Place the open ends of the lines into the container with fluid again. To bleed the cylinder, pull the piston rod away from the cylinder. Turn the cylinder and press the piston rod back in again. Repeat this process until no more bubbles come out. Once both hydraulic cylinders are bled, store them in an upright position so no air gets in. Next, screw the cylinders with the hydraulic lines onto the pump. Here too, coat the screws with thread lock. Do the same with the right cylinder. Once the cylinders are connected to the pump, the system is complete. For the next step, support the hydraulic line at the cylinder. Fix the line with two cable ties. Connect them in a figure 8 form and tighten them successively. The opening of the guide rod must be free. With the synchronization valves open, operate the piston rods in and out several times. The piston rods are not synchronized. Close the valves and operate a few times until the system is bled completely. The piston rods must run parallel, otherwise the procedure must be repeated. For the final inspection, hold the two end pieces together. With us, everything's okay. In the last step, install the tail spoiler feet to the system. First coat the thread at the cylinder with thread lock. Insert the feet very carefully. The guide rod may not damage the micro switch on the inside. Tighten the screw connection here on the inside. The hydraulic unit is now ready to be installed.